In the Paldea region, we've heard tales of the false dragon that lurks in the depths of Lake Casserole. After investigating, you believe it to be a monstrous fish Pokemon with a mouth large enough to swallow anything that is unfortunate enough to get in its way. This is Dondozo, but in reality, the false dragon titan is a different Pokemon. A Pokemon that lives inside of Dondozo. This is Tatsugiri and is the true false dragon Pokemon and is dragon water typing. It is similar to modern day mudskipper fish, which are 23 different species of fish in the family Oxudersidae. Their namesake is thanks to large pectoral fins that allow them to traverse terrestrial environments, climb small obstacles, and even leap up to two feet. This amphibious ability is seen in Tatsugiri as it's often found in the shorelines on islands in Lake Kasaroya. Which brings us to the unique relationship between Tatsugiri and Dondozo. Dondozo resembles a large catfish-like Pokemon and even has barbels around its mouth. Real-life catfish and certain groups of other fish use these barbels to basically taste their way into finding prey in murky water or buried in the substrate. This suggests that Dondozo is likely a bottom-feeding predator searching for prey in the depths of Lake Kasaroya. However, in the presence of Tatsugiri, Dondozo has a much more sinister feeding strategy. And there's a reason that Tatsugiri looks so darn delicious, and that's because it wants to attract predators. Tatsugiri uses its highly developed pectoral fins to position itself on the shoreline in clear view of mostly airborne predators. Its throat sac is then inflated to elevate its body off of the substrate to increase the visual contrast between itself and its environment, and this is also aided by its bright colors. Large, dorsally upturned eyes allow Tatsugiri to scan the sky for potential predators and victims, while its symbiotic partner Dondozo waits nearby in the shallows under the water. Once a bird Pokemon predator like Kilowattrel or Altaria make a move for Tatsugiri, our little dragon can signal its waiting Dondozo partner to leap out of the water and engulf both Pokemon in its mouth. However, only one of these Pokemon is truly ingested. It's possible that the prey item is held in the large mouth of Dondozo, while its Tatsugiri partner gets to eat its fill before it really swallows its prey. This kind of symbiotic relationship is called mutualism, where both parties get some kind of benefit for working together. In this case, Tatsugiri gets protection from predators and extra calories by residing in Dondozo mouths, and Dondozo gets regular meals from an otherwise inaccessible prey base, the flying bird-like Pokemon. Which helps explain why Lake Casaroya is littered with all of these feathers, but you don't really see any birds. This is kind of like if the caught lure of a death adder or the elysium of an anglerfish, the actual like angler part, were its own living organism. Usually in the real world, symbiotic relationships don't put one partner in as much peril as Tatsugiri seems to be in, but there are plenty of symbiotic hunting pair examples, such as the grouper and the moray eel. Groupers are large diurnal marine fish that hunt in open water, whereas moray eels are nocturnal predators that can use their unique body plan to weave through coral reefs in an attempt to ambush their prey. To team up, groupers visit moray eels at their hideouts and make use of visual signals, such as shaking their head, to engage a hunt. When hunting together, both the moray and the grouper experience higher success rates, as it's harder for a fish to avoid both going into open water to escape the moray and getting eaten by the grouper, and retreating from the grouper into the reef and getting eaten by the moray. Another fishy, symbiotic relationship is found between remoras and various shark species. Remoras are small fish species that feed on the scraps of shark kills and also eat parasites found on the shark's skin or around their mouths. Sharks provide remoras with some protection and free meals, and sharks get annoying parasites removed. Remoras have a modified dorsal fin that allow them to suction onto the bottom of sharks, and sharks have even been known to slow down to allow remoras to firmly attach. Tatsugiri might fill a similar role as the remoras, as it might be able to remove internal parasites from the mouth of Dondozos, but further investigation into this behavior is needed. Let me know what you think of the symbiotic relationship between Dondozo and Tatsugiri. I think it's cool that they're trying to input more real world kind of situations into the Pokemon games. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see more on Pokemon Ecology, and as always, thanks for watching.